know what's kind of ironic about making this video? The fact I'm wearing a Packers jersey, or shirt, and I'm talking about the team that beat, gotten beaten by the Packers. And yes, we are talking about the Dallas Cowboys. Now, uh, I'm not going to do my intro for this one. Um, and also, uh, before we get into the video, we are getting very close, closer than I honestly thought at this point, to 300 subscribers. I would not be saying that, I never thought I would ever be saying this in mid January or mid February. But yeah, um, that, 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 that's amazing. So yeah, if you are new, please subscribe and go to my community tab if you have not yet. Because there are going to be some, so every some sometimes I upload stuff of what you want some more of or what team you want me to rebuild. And right now we have an 84% in the Titans to be getting a rebuild. And only one vote has gone from a different team. So that's very interesting. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the Dallas Cowboys. What the heck are they on, apparently? Okay, so the, apparently the Dallas Cowboys, there's like this cycle where like, they're gonna say, oh, this is our year, you know, this is our year. They start very good. They can't be extremely high good teams. Play very well at home. Then they start to choke at the end of the season and then lose in the playoffs. And then it's basically that whole that's just what seems to happen for some reason every year, and it's honestly kind of pathetic, not gonna lie. And you're like, what's the issue in this book? Now, to me, I think the issue is not because of Dak Prescott, it is not because of the offense, it's not because of the defense. It is a little bit of Dan Quinn, it is a little bit of Mike McCarthy, but most of it is coming from Jerry Jones. Now, you're like, wait, what? You're playing with Jerry Jones, not Mike McCarthy and Dan Quinn, who had stuff to involve during that game? Look, Jerry Jones is hired, I feel like, basically the same person, kind of, as Jason Garrett. So if you don't know who Jason Garrett was, he was here way too long than what how long he should have been. This guy was one of the most terrible hires, and yet they went and stayed there for a full contract. And it's the same thing that seems to be happening with Mike McCarthy, which is why I can basically say they're the same guy. Which that is a problem to ownership. It is a problem to the office. Like that's the problems right there. And then Dan Quinn is definitely not good in the playoffs. For some reason, and I don't know why, but they usually ran main coverage. In the Packers game, guess what they didn't decide to run? Man coverage. You know what they ran? Zone coverage. Which I was very shocked to say the least. And yet they just got absolutely decimated on both sides of the ball on offense and defense. And then you also ask the question, is Dak Prescott the issue? Is Dan Quinn the issue? Is Mike McCarthy the issue? That's the problem. Is that, like, you can't blame more than one person about the reason why you guys lost. Which is why I keep saying, like, like and this is why, in my personal opinion, I think it's Jerry Jones' fault. Because the fact that you guys have lost so many years in a row in the playoffs because of Mike McCarthy or poor coaching or something like that, it's basically easy at this point that it's the front office's fault, which is where Jerry Jones comes into play. Now, I'm going to be strict and honest with you. Cowboys have easily one of the best rosters in the league by a landslide because literally, if they had Trevon Diggs, they probably have the best corner, corner group out of the entire league. Not only that you have Trevon Diggs, who is very good in intercepting, Deron Bland, who is the lead leaner in interceptions, I honestly hope, wins defensive MVP, and then they have Stephon Gilmore. 
that is a pretty nasty secondary on its own. And I used to completely forget about like Billy Hope Booker and Javon Curse. And then you also have, you know, like, well, no, it's like the name of still there. I don't remember, but he's still there. Marquise Bell, the rookie, he's been playing very well. And Mike LaParsons. You know, this is a very talented defense. I like, I, like, you can't say anything about it. It's very good. The only problem I think this defense has is just the stopping the runs. But that's basically it. And then you got to the offense, which is also good because the old line is fine. You have Jake Ferguson, who's been way better than I honestly thought. And then you have C.D. Lamb, and then you have um, Brandon Cooks, who's actually been decent. Tony Pollard, Rick Granano, and then Dak Prescott. Pretty good offense, pretty good defense. What's the problem? The coaching. Because, like, you can't blame it on either side because of how talented it is. Tony Pollard, one of the best running backs in the league. Dak Prescott, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. who's like, top five in MVP voting. C.D. Lamp, top five wide receiver. Jake Ferguson, a breakout star out that tight end position. Defense, Michael Parsons, arguably the best defensive player in the game outside of Aaron Donald. Rob Bland, arguably one of the best corners in the game right now. Like, you kind of get the memo here. There are way too many good players on this team just to get first rounded by the seventh seed. I'm sorry. And no offense to the Packers obviously beating the Cowboys because I honestly do think that they are very talented on their own. But still, it made zero sense that the fact that the Packers just absolutely destroyed them. Because like this is what the Packers team is. Jordan Love who's definitely been actually probably one of the best quarterbacks in the past few weeks, but again, it's just the past few weeks. Aaron Jones is like a top 20 running back, and, Aaron, and A.J. Dillon is inconsistent. And you can also say that to my wrist, our receiving core has been very inconsistent except for Jalen Reed when he's healthy. Uh, we have a very good tight end core, I will admit, with Luke Musgrave and Tucker Kraft. Are all in this definitely been playing better, but at the same time, None of them that should be able to block Michael Parsons or Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, then you have their defense, which our interior defensive line is not that good. With Kenny Clark, Devontae Wyatt, TJ Station, none of those are really interesting players. Andrew Rushers, you have Lucas Van Ness, Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, and then you have linebackers. I think Quinn Walker was in this, and also Devontae Campbell. And in our secondary, I think God Jai was back, and Corey Valentine, and John Nixon, I think, and then Darvon Savage and Jonathan Mills. None of those players are big and bad players. Except Jordan Love, Jalen Reed, and sometimes Jair Alexander. So, like, you get the point. Our team is significantly less talented than the Cowboys. And especially that this team is the youngest team in football. Not only that you just lost to a 7th seed, but you lost to the youngest team in the league. That is an issue. And not lost. Got demolished. Now you could say, oh, it was 42 to 26. It wasn't that bad. No. Because you know what's the worst part about it? This is the first time ever that the Packers have ever put 40 plus points this season. And this is the first time but well, actually, no. And this is also the first playoff one that they have since 2021. Actually, not 2020, I think. And I don't, I, which again, back then. Because 2021, yeah, they didn't. Because they went against the Niners and lost. 2022, they didn't make it. So, yeah, like, it's been that long since they made it to the postseason. Like, you're going against the youngest team in football. You're going against the 7th seed. Like, a lot of things just not went your way. And that's why Mike McCarthy should have been fired. Which is not going to get fired. Dan Quinn is honestly on the hot seat as offensive coordinator, which let's face it, he's already about to get hired as a coach. So you kind of wonder, maybe it's his fault. I don't know. But like again, it's so frustrating because this team, in my opinion, if it wasn't the Niners, this was the next team I think was going to win this, go to the Super Bowl. If they were gonna win, I wouldn't say that. Honestly, I would probably say the Ravens, the Niners, the Bills, maybe the Chiefs, and then the Cowboys. 
Bucks. That's where I would put them. They're like the fifth best team right now. That's a bit of an issue to say the least. So, yeah. The, like, the Cowboys, you should be really ashamed of yourself because the fact that the, Cow that the Lions are actually might make it to the NFC Championship game on you guys have it in 13 years is insane to me. Insane. So, yeah. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.